Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm JKing7, the two-time world champion of cards, and today I am starting a new series which is going to be a tutorial guide, beginner's guide to cards. So the idea behind this tutorial is I'm just going to make, this is a brand new account, and I'm going to walk you through what you can expect when you start cards for the first time, and what are some, um, of the best ways to sort of get into the game, um, what's the best way to utilize your starting collection, um, and what's the best things you can do to try to build your collection. This and much more is what I'm going to be trying to answer and demonstrate in this series. So uh, with that, strap in, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into the tutorial. What a performance there by J King. J King, full plot armor. J King is pushing himself into the ranks of the legends. J King is our world champion. J King 7. What? The back to back cards world champion. So, when you boot up cards for the first time, you will be presented with a screen like this, where there is five different starter campaigns, each for the five major nations in cards. Of course, that's being Germany, Soviet, USA, Britain, Japan. Um, to start off, you have to play the Germany or the USA campaign. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which you pick, just pick whichever seems most interesting to you. Um, in the end, you are going to uh, play through all five of these uh, starting campaigns to unlock the five nations. And th this is something you're going to want to do because having access to all five nations is pretty important to playing the game. And uh, it, it, it's pretty simple, and you'll uh, learn quite a lot of basics um, in the process. So with uh, that, let's just uh, quickly show um, what the tutorials are. So I will select Germany. So each of the starter training campaigns is a series of seven missions where it will guide you through um, playing against the AI in, and in the process, it will teach you some of the game's core mechanics, and as you go, you will unlock new cards to add to your deck. Um, and if you want some more information about what the deck you are going to be playing in these tutorials, you can click this deck info button here, and it will tell you what your main nation is, what your ally nation is, and then what the theme of the deck is, and what type of deck it is. So if you're at all familiar with other card games, um, it, this should give you an idea with the deck type. Um, and if you're not familiar with other card games, I will have another video in the future explaining different deck types. But, um, it, it will also tell you, uh, in the strategy section, um, a little bit on how you want to be playing this deck. So, the German-Italy deck, um, to start off with the German starter campaign, the theme is combined arms, which means you're going to be using units of lots of different types, because in cards you will have different types of units, fighters, bombers, infantry, tanks, artilleries, um, and you're going to be using all of these to uh, achieve victory with this German deck, and it is a mid-range deck, meaning that it's uh, going to be slightly on the faster side, but not too fast. You're going to have some meteor um, value cards in there to uh, round out sort of the, the later part of your deck. So let's uh, just quickly get into the games, and uh, maybe I will do a, a time lapse of getting through these first seven missions to unlock Germany. Alright, so once you complete your starting tutorial, whether you picked Germany or the US, you will be get you will get to this screen where it will tell you that you have now unlocked your deck and you will be able to play in either battle mode, which is PvP, or training mode, which is um, just against the AI. Now, you could do either of these two things with this whichever deck you chose to play, Germany or US. However, I would recommend that you instead go back and complete the other th uh, four remaining training um, starter tutorials just because this will unlock four additional decks and get you access to four times um, or sorry well yeah four times the amount of cards you currently have so um, if you hit continue you will get to this screen which will show you the daily login rewards which are available for um, players when they first start the game so the first eight times you log into cards you will get these eight bonuses 
um, in this order. After that point, um, uh, this daily login track is only available um, once you make your account and play the first uh, eight times. It does not have to be eight consecutive days if you can only play the game like once a week. Um, that's fine, it's just eight days that you log in. Um, however, after this point, there is still plenty of ways to collect um, goodies in cards relatively quickly, and I will get into that later. Um, show you all of the best ways to uh, maximize um, the gold that you can earn on the account, and I will get into um, what uh, all of these different things are in the future. Then, once you claim your 30 diamonds, you will be brought to this screen. This screen is just the main menu of cards. Um, in the center here, it will tell you some various bits of news. At the top, you can see your username, how much gold, diamonds, and wild cards you have on your account. However, we are most interested in um, these buttons here on the left right now. Um, now, on the right, I will also um, quickly move over here to point out some things on the right. Um, you do have the Join Discord button. This will link you to the official cards Discord. That is a great place to go. Um, if you want, if you just have questions, if you want to meet people, meet people, um, who can help you, um, give you advice on how to grind or on your account, on what decks to build, on, um, how to play decks, or if you just want to meet people, make friends, um, people who can, you can add, um, to your friends list so that you can, um, play friendlies against people, whatever it might be, um, Discord highly recommend joining. And I will also say I have my own Discord where, um, again, you can go there if you want to play challenges against people or you have questions you want to ask either to the wider community or to myself. Um, so that is in the description of the video. Highly recommend Discord. Very, very useful tool for getting help in cards. Now, below that on the right, we have draft mode. Um, we will get into draft in a future video. Um, since that's its entirely own game mode. Then you have a open packs button. Um, so once you, you start to unlock packs, um, the quick way to get there. And importantly, down here in the bottom right, you have missions. So this will show you what you th your daily missions are. You unlock um, one new mission every 24 hours. And this is the primary way to get gold really, really fast is just do your daily missions. Um, so th these will be either play units of a specific type, like play um, 30 tanks, or it will be play units with a specific keyword. So for example, here we have deploy 15 ambush units, um, or this one, deploy 15 units that cost five or more. Uh, of course, you can reject one mission a day in case you want to get something else. And the other group of um, missions are nation-specific missions. So win um, games as a deck with the major or minor nation, or um, play cards of that nation. So th those are all of the missions. Highly recommend completing them um, to get gold quickly. And we have the national progression, which is another really good way of collecting a lot of goodies in cards. So right now I only have Germany unlocked because we have to complete the other um, tutorials to unlock the other five nations. And completing the tutorial will bring you here to level 7, because you unlock all of these cool cards on the way. But after this point, the more you play um, decks of that nation, the more XP you will unlock here. You get more XP for playing against um, real players, and you will slowly earn your way up the track, getting all of these rewards for free. Um, and this track goes all the way to 350 for now. Um, they will likely expand that even further in the future. Um, so just because you see it goes up to 50, don't worry, it, it keeps going. You can play hundreds of hours on a, a nation and still have more rewards you can get back. Um, however, what is uh, really important for us right now um, is these three buttons on the left here. So starting from the bottom, uh, we have shop which is where you can go to buy diamonds, or you can go to spend diamonds, spend gold, buy packs, buy cosmetics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the most important thing for us right now is this daily deals section. So um, here you will have a couple of cards that cost diamonds. Um, these cards are random um, every day. So not a great way of spending your diamonds. I would not recommend spending your diamonds here unless um, you see a very powerful card here um, that 
you really, really want it to fill out your collection, but in general, I would not really recommend doing this. However, you will have one free standard card every single day uh, that you can just get completely for free, and there's just absolutely no reason not to collect it. Um, now, I have already collected this um, on this account because um, <laughs> I accidentally screwed up the footage the first time um, recording this section, so I've already collected the card. Um, however, you can see in uh, 33 minutes, I will be able to collect another standard card, so absolutely, whenever you log into cards, remember to come to the daily deals section of the shop to collect your free standard. Then we have cards, and this is going to show you all of your decks. Um, these are the five starter decks. Of course, I've only unlocked the German one um, since that's the only tutorial I've completed so far. You can go into the deck if you want to look at it, change it around, um, add cards in it, take cards out. Um, of course, right now we only have the exact 40 cards in the deck. Um, however, once your collection starts to grow, you might want to take things out, try things out, um, whatever it may be. So if you want to look at um, all of the cards, you can go back here and hit Collection at the top, and this will let you look through all of the cards. Again, we only have the 40 so far since we haven't unlocked the other tutorials yet, but you will have filters that let you look through based on unit type or card type by rarity, um, what set it's from, what nation it's from, etc., etc., credit cost. Um, you can also search for the name of any specific card, whether it's a card that you saw someone else play, you've heard someone else talk about, or if maybe you are um, a history buff, you're really interested in a particular tank or infantry division, whatever it might be, you can look it up to see if that card exists in the cards. And importantly, if you want to see cards that um, you might not have in your collection, there is this toggle right up here, and this will show you cards, um, all the cards in the game, um, including ones that you do not have. So, for example, you could look at Elite cards and show all the ones you don't have, and scroll through and look at all of these cards which you will one day collect to fill out your collection. However, um, what we want to do is complete the tutorials, and it, might, it is not the most intuitive way to get back to the tutorial section since you will be put to this main menu after completing your first one. What you need to do is you have to hit play, um, and you will be first brought to this, you will be on battle, um, where you can pick between ranked and casual to play just PvP matches against other players. Um, however, probably don't want to do that yet. You can do training mode if you want to just play against the AI. Um, this is usually a very good way to complete your, to, um, your daily missions quickly. Um, however, we still don't want to do that. Draft mode we will get into later. What you need to do is come down here to campaigns and hit starter campaigns and now you are back here so you can select one of the four remaining tutorials. Uh, to get through, unlock the decks, and we will go from there. So, um, let's just, uh, well, I will go do these uh, off camera, maybe I'll show a time lapse, and we will get into the rest of the tutorial. <laughs> All right, so once you have completed um, all five of the campaigns, you will have unlocked all of the cards that you start the game with. So if you go into cards, then hit collection, uh, you will see all of your new cards, all of your new HQs, 
Um, and these are the cards that you can start to build your decks with. So um, before we get into adding on or, or changing the starter decks, um, let's first take a look at the missions. We have a Play US Cards mission, we have Win Games with Japan as an ally mission, and Play Orders. So we are going to be wanting to design a US-Japanese deck at least for the beginning to complete these missions, get enough gold. We currently have 150 gold. Um, this could get us another 150, which would bring us up to 300, and let us buy three packs. So um, before looking at the cards, I'm going to open a pack, and I will show you how you should uh, best spend um, your gold. So if you go over to the shop and then scroll over here, you will see there is two um, different things you can buy right now for packs. There is Legions and there is Corset. Corset is all of the previous expansions um, wrapped up into one. Legions is the most recent expansion. There is a new expansion coming out a month from the recording of this video, a little less than a month actually. Um, it comes out at the end of June. Uh, and when that comes out, you will see the new expansion and core set. I believe Legion's cards will be moved into the core set. Um, either way, I strongly recommend starting off by just buying packs from the core set. There is more cards. There is a arguably better cards um, in the core set. And it will just give you a, a wider range of play. Um, the one exception is currently all of the Polish cards uh, almost all of the Polish cards are in the Legion set, so if you really, really want to play Poland, I'd still recommend getting the core set, um, to be honest, but <laughs> that is worth considering. So you can buy... Um, it, there is two types of packs in cards. There is just the regular pack, which is um, sort of your traditional like Hearthstone-style pack, where there is um, five cards in the pack and at least one one is guaranteed to be a limited or better. In cards, there is four types of card rarity. There is standard, limited, special, and elite. Um, and you are guaranteed in the base pack to get at least one limited or better. Um, so the worst you could do is four standards and a limited for 100 gold, which is not bad. Um, or you could get an elite, you could get several elites, you could get... Um, you could get anything. And then the other thing you can buy is an officer pack for 330 gold, which is quite a step up. This is the equivalent of more than three regular packs. It gives you seven cards, um, and one is guaranteed to be a special or better. And it has much higher drop rates for elite cards and, um, and limiteds. So it, this officer packs are going to be very, very good at getting the higher end cards in the game. However, since there is full duplicate protection, meaning you do not have to worry about opening cards that will not increase your collection, um, I recommend starting with the regular base core packs for now until you get a healthy amount of the standards and limiteds. Once you feel like you have all of the standards and limiteds you want to have, um, then you can start switching over to the officer packs since that's going to start getting you more specials and elites. So for now, we will buy one core um, regular pack and open it, see what we get. And just a standard, we have four standards and a limited, um, and those will now appear in our collection alongside the cards we already have. So we needed to make a US-Japan deck, so you come over here, hit new deck, and then you pick one of your main nations. Um, so pick one of the five major nations. This is going to be the sort of core cards of your deck. Um, and then you can pick any of the other four major nations as your ally, or one of the three ally nations, which can only be used as ally France, Italy, Poland. Um, when you have a new account, you're mainly just going to have cards from the five major nations. So you typically will have some combination of these five nations together. So in this case, we are going to be building a US Japan deck. So we can run up to 12 Japanese cards, and we can run cards up to the special rarity. So you can only run elites of the major nation in your deck, which means we can, um, if we look up elite, we will only see the American elite we have. You get one elite for each nation um, to start off. However, we can run specials um, from our ally nation. So we can run Japanese specials, limiteds, standards, and we can have any combination of up to 12 of those. Now, in cards, 
the rarity of a card also dictates the number you can run in your deck. Um, so standards, you can run up to four copies in your deck. Limiteds, three, specials, two, and deletes, you can only run one copy of them in your deck. Yeah, at this point, you can just throw together 40 cards. If you want to see what the curve is, um, you can click this button right here. It will tell you how many cards of each credit slot you are running. You can see we've gone over the limit. We've gone up to 13 Japanese cards, so we have to take out one of these. Now, you, you might have some issues um, finding 40 cards to put into your deck at this point, since you do have very, very limited collections. Um, so it, don't be afraid to run cards that you're pretty confident you will be replacing later on. Um, so once you do have a 40 card deck, hit save. And then you can go over and play that deck against in training mode um, or against other players. All right, so we've now completed our missions in just four games for another 150 gold. As well as in the process, uh, we got up to level 10 US, which means we've unlocked a US limited card, um, some additional diamonds, as well as a US national pack. So if we go to the shop, um, and remember, I've already claimed my free uh, standard of the day. And we go over to Corset. Let's buy two more Corset packs. And uh, at this point, we're already up to uh, four packs in essentially, we've played um, basically just the tutorial. So this is the US pack, meaning the national pack, meaning it's all go going to be American cards. And then the Corset packs, which uh, wow, we already got a uh, elite. And it's going to be the Catalina, not a bad one. This is actually quite good. Um, we'll definitely be adding that to our US packs, or US decks. And a bunch more standards and limiteds. So now if we go back to our collection, um, we will see that uh, yeah, our collection is, I mean, it's still a, a long way off being um, full, but it's starting to fill out compared to just the original 40 cards um, per nation that we had. All right, so now we have, uh, we're starting to get some more cards and we could start editing the decks to try to make the most optimized decks. But if you look over here at the reward track, um, you will see at level 12 for each nation, you will unlock an additional 40 card deck. Um, this is the same for every nation and this is going to give you a whole bunch of new really, really useful cards. And since you get it so early on into playing, um, I you can just stick with the uh, starter decks you already have. You can edit them a little bit if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. And you can play into the AI. You can just complete the missions. Um, you can start going on to PvP. Um, you can start climbing up the ranks. Um, if you want. Either way, trying to hit level 12 on each nation will um, get you a whole new wave of a ton of cards. Uh, and from there, we can start building uh, decks that are going to be able to get you pretty high up onto the ranks um, and well on your way to getting to Field Marshal, which is the end goal of the ranked system. And the number one way to fill out your collection in cards is trying to hit Field Marshal every single month. Um, since if you successfully achieve Field Marshal before the end of the month, at the end of the month you will get four free packs plus a Golden Elite um, that you do not have, like a new Elite, which is a, going to also be a Golden Copy. So that's really, really good. And if you can't quite make it to Field Marshal, you will have um, slightly worse rewards um, going down, depending on how high up you get. But it is completely possible to hit Field Marshal within the first month. Um, of playing the game. It, it is hard, it's not going to be easy, but it is possible. Um, and I mean, if you can't quite make it, it gets easier every month since there's a soft reset, as well as just the more you play, the more cards you get, the more experience you get, the easier you will ha find it to climb. So um, I will uh, cut to after I've unlocked 12. <laughs>
Alrighty, so in just a couple hours we were able to hit um, level 12 in all five nations, so we can now claim those rewards. So this will unlock us an additional five decks uh, on top of the five starter decks we had, and that's going to include 40 new cards, both for the major nation and different ally nations. So for example, the US deck is US Poland, so that's going to give you a couple of Polish cards if you want to try out Poland. Um, and as well, I was actually able to climb up, as you can see in the top left, um, to rank 19. So the sort of the end goal, um, or at least the primary goal um, you should have, especially on a new account, is reaching Field Marshal, since that's going to give you the most um, rewards every month that you can get. And I mean, the rank 19 with literally the starter decks, um, rank 19, two stars, with literally just the starter decks um, is pretty good, and I mean, if we just want to copy the five new decks that we got, those are going to be better than the starter decks, um, and could we even probably get us to like about rank 10. So first, um, let's look at what the five decks we unlocked are. So for Britain, we got a Britain-Japan air deck. So this is going to be a deck that is trying to utilize um, some of the more powerful synergies utilizing um, air cards, uh, and specifically these Swordfish and Gladiator units. These are um, one-cost British planes that are going to let you use cards like Air Superiority, uh, which works very, very well if you have um, air units and Close Air Support, a very powerful buff card for uh, air units. And it's got you a couple other powerful cards like the RAAF Lightning, a uh, very strong card. Then the Soviets, you have Soviet Italy um, control deck. This is going to give you uh, quite a few good control options to have a much slower um, gameplay and the focusing around healing, um, removing your opponent's units. And this is going to give you a couple of very powerful cards, such as the 7th Alpini Regiment and La Decima, both very solid control cards. And then Death is Duty. We have a Japan-US um, deck that is... This is sort of a self-discard deck. So there's a couple cards in the game, such as Supply Chain and the um, Betty, which if you discard them, um, it does something beneficial for you. And so you're utilizing that with a couple cards that discard your own things, like Special Delivery, 34th Infantry, Experimental Flight. So it's sort of an aggressive deck, um, except this is... It's a little bit slower, um, since cards like Experimental Flight is kind of giving you value. They give you a random Japanese um, elite air unit. So this is also going to let you play around with a couple new cards. This is a, definitely a solid deck. For Germany, we have a German-US Blitzkrieg deck. Um, so this deck utilizes the signature card Blitzkrieg, um, which is a massive finisher card. It's going to give you a ton of attack buff in the front line temporarily to finish off your opponent. And then it's a ton of tanks to try to get into the front line and hold the front line and take it quickly. Um, so this is another very powerful deck, a very, very aggressive, fast deck. And last but not least, we have USA Poland. Um, you could call this a, sort of like a front line deck. Um, so this deck is going to be in the middle. Um, it's slower than the German deck, faster than the Soviet deck, and it utilizes um, trying to control the front line. So cards like Combat Engineers, which gives you units attack when you move them into the front line, and cards like M4 Sherman, which is easily one of the best standard cards in the game, um, which draws you two cards when you play it if you have a US unit in the front line. So these five decks, um, there's there certainly some are better than others. Um, I think the German deck and the US deck look very, very strong. Um, the other three, you can definitely do very well with them as well. Um, however, where there is some bits and pieces here that we can work with to make a very, very powerful deck. So I'm going to quickly show you that. Um, I'll have the uh, import code for that deck um, in the description of the video. And yeah, let's quickly uh, cut to that. Alrighty, so we have ourselves a deck. Um, I have 38 cards in this deck so far because we are going to use two of our wild cards to finish this deck off. Um, you unlock wild cards through your nation progression, and these are essentially 
gives you the ability to create a card of your choice from the game of that rarity. So by unlocking all of the nations, um, all of the nations decks, so by hitting 12 or higher on all nation progression, you should have one wild card for each nation. And for the sake of this deck, we are going to uh, create two cards using our wild cards, um, our limited wild cards. So the if you want to search for a specific card, again, you can use the search bar if you know the name of the card, um, or if you know the rarity of the card in this case. Um, I can just type in limited. This also works through the uh, filter. You can set the rarity to limited likewise, and then this button will show you uh, all cards in the game. So we are looking specifically to create a third Panzer 35T. This is an incredibly powerful card in a very wide range of decks. You can use this in German main aggressive decks. You can use this in Japan German aggressive decks. In this case, it's a US German uh, pretty aggressive deck. This is one of the core cards to any aggressive deck in the game. It's incredibly powerful and um, you want to get your hands on three of these as soon as possible. And fortunately, you get two of them for free. Um, so we will create the third one now and put it in this deck. And then for our US um, limited wildcard, there's a couple honorable mentions. A third first Marines is certainly not bad. Um, a third we can do it would not be terrible. However, nothing really compares to the power of the fifth Rangers right now um, for the limited category in US. Ideally, you want to get three as three of these as quickly as you can. Um, but for now, since we've just hit level 12 and we have one US limited wildcard, we'll create one fifth Rangers and throw it into this deck. So this is a 40 card deck made entirely of cards you will either have for free or you will have the resources to create for free. And I can tell you right now, um, you could hit rank 5, um, rank 10, without breaking too much of a sweat, um, within a month of playing and learning and improving. Um, and with one or two card changes here or there, through the resources you will unlock through just playing the game uh, and going down your national progression, um, you can very quickly get this deck up to a deck that can get you into Field Marshal. Uh, so I'm going to end the first video of this tutorial here. Uh, I will have videos coming out soon going over over um, tips and tricks. Um, I will have a video on draft in the future. Um, I will have a video on it's sort of just a, a brief guide and summary to all of the different mechanics in the game like unit types, um, keywords, uh, with examples of how they apply in ways that might not necessarily be um, immediately shown or explained in the tutorial. Um, and of course, I will have a little bit of gameplay um, probably on this deck, showing um, myself playing this game at the various ranks as I climb up the leaderboard, um, or the ranked system on this new account. If there's anything else you would love to see, um, or just questions I can answer in the chat um, or in text, feel free to comment below. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, it would mean a great deal to me, and it would let me know that uh, there is a demand for this um, sort of more beginner's content, because typically I have been producing um, content for more experienced players. Um, but if this does well, I will definitely continue to create um, content and guides and just provide my thoughts for the new player experience. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. All right, a little, um, a little end to um, this video. That's, that's, the, that's the end of the video. Um, well, okay, I'll change this. All right, if you stuck around um, through that uh, closing section, I realize I have some uh, packs to open. Um, so we'll do a little bit of pack opening that is all that is going to be. So uh, if you're not interested in pack opening, uh, you can click off this video. But we have five packs to open. Let's see if we get anything good here. Honestly, opening packs just makes it more difficult to do these tutorials because then I don't know which cards I opened in packs and which cards I got. And oh my goodness, we already got a 270 second. This is, if you're not familiar, this is one of the best Soviet elites in the game. Um, can stick that right into a Soviet control deck. I mean, you can stick almost any elite you get into almost any uh, um, deck <laughs> you want to play when you're newer to the game. Um, but.
but that one in particular, very, very strong. And yeah, th that special desert store, not bad at all. And a couple more cards. And again, full duplicate. Full duplicate protection, so I don't have to worry about opening any duplicates. And um, yeah, we we appear to have gotten a uh, standard wild card um, out from that just through opening packs. So thank you again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll actually end the video now.